everybody. everybody. Boom. <laughs> back I'm Tranny. Back at it again. This is C. We have, first and foremost, <laughs> some cool uh, merch here. We got the coaster, which uh, you can get if you become a part of patreon.com slash Tranny and C. That's right. And become it's a Dram Club member. If you're a part of the Dram Club, it becomes like the part of the startup package. That's right. Yeah. The Trendy Z Starter Kit. This, if you were... Dram Club. Dram Club. A couple years ago. You would have got this also, but... There ooh. might be a couple of those hanging around for future Dram Club members. Sure. Um, so, speaking of Dram Club, this month we are sponsored by Compass Box. Jackpot. Um, so, tonight, up. we have a special I one. I kind of want this. Sure. Compass box. Look at this. Canvas. Yeah. People have said you're a bit of a blank canvas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is good. Is that a good thing? <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right. There we go. That's fine. I'm going to tell you. Oh, no. You can. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> There's no writing on the box, which she usually does have. Whiskey is. Because see, it's a blank canvas. Ah, right? yes, yes. yes. Uh, whiskey is our canvas. The bottle. Sorry, you are... sorry. Turn it front first. What? Oh, I was thinking maybe that was a part of the design on the bottle, which I think, oh, I think it is. It is. It's a. It's a, it's a, it's a like slicing. So it looks like it's a canvas. And you've cut through and oh, yeah, it's a sneak peek. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pour it first, yes. and then I'm gonna bore everyone with talking about stuff. Compass Box uh, Whiskey Company. Is on uh, George Street, Edinburgh, Scotland. There you go. Oh, that's, that's cool. Good enough. Oh, cool. on, quiet on set. Tight corks. Did what were you, I wasn't paying attention when we popped the last one. It was tight. It was good. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. So sorry, I'm labeling. You should be. Good. Gluggy. Gluggy. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Compass box is something that we don't get too often on Training and Sea, mm -hmm. but um, we've just, of course, with this this Dram Club, we have a, a few to give away. That's right. Uh, and we're excited to try them. Okay, um, you you start nosing, so you're ready to write away to give us some notes. Go, right? just okay. go. Do it. Whiskey is our canvas. The bottle you are holding contains an exceedingly careful and vibrant Scotch whiskey, thanks to a parcel of single malt re-racked into orange wine barrels for three years. These unusual casks seasoned with vino naranja from the south of Spain bring new shades of deliciousness to canvas with their chocolatey richness and sticky marmalade fragrance. That's They're already talking about oranges and chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like those Terry's, Terry's chocolate Terry's orange. Chocolate. Yeah, okay. The single, kind of like that. single malts aged in American oak bring further generous flavors of custard honey and frangipan. Um, Rather than restrained watercolors, this is a work of decadent oil paints. Oh, okay. Um, What's the percentage? So this one is 46%. It yeah. goes on to say a bunch of other stuff, but I am going to read here where this one is limited to... 5,880 bottles, so cool. it's a smaller release. And it tells you the exact percentage of which distillery is in the bottle. does. It also says no color added. Yep. It says filtration, light 5 micron, no chill filtration. And then it says right here, um, Tomatin Distillery, refill bourbon barrel, 43.4% of the recipe. Yeah. So that's Tomatin. Then Glenbergy Distillery first fill bourbon barrel twenty four point two percent. Then Glen Elgin Distillery recharred American oak hogshead fifteen point four percent. And then Tomatin Distillery vino naranja barrels ten point nine percent. And the Imperial Distillery first fill bourbon barrel six point one percent. So it's got it's got two tomatins in there. I mean, I'm not great at math, but I think that all adds up. Probably adds up to 100%. I would think so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's exciting. Like you said, full transparency. You know exactly what's in this blended malt. Yeah. And it's cool. It's natural color, non-chill filter. It's 46%. Um, love the stats. It's, I love the stats. Sorry, but I really just bored people with a lot of stats. One you know thing what? I'm going to cool. say off the nose right away, and I've noticed this with the other one we've tried tonight, is it's relatively subtle at first. 
Okay. You... And as it kind of starts to open up, because yours is probably opened up now. Mm. But can I s- yeah. say yeah. the first sniff I got on it was that sniff of old scotch from okay. when we open mini bottles that oh, are like yeah. super old. I, you know how it has that they have that that like unique like fermenty mm-hmm. kind of note. It has a, but a touch of that. I, maybe it's uh, I'm uh, being influenced by the words you were speaking. Mm. But it does. I find it does have like a, a uh, an orange kind of thing. Like when you like squish an orange and it squirts out mm. a little bit. To me, it's got some like dense breadiness to it a little bit. Yeah, there is uh, a nice kind of like toasted barley kind of note on there. But yeah, okay. And, and there's like, this, it's it's not like fruity specifically, but it, it has like this underlying... I am getting some back, back nose palette citrus. Some late nose palette citrus yeah. in there. It's like yeah. a, like an orange lip balm or something. Because <laughs> there's like kind yeah. of vanillas in it and stuff too. Mm. But there's also that like Fig Newton note. Yeah. Okay, let's drink it. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. Whoa. That drinks really good. To me, that drinks bigger than the nose. I was just gonna say. Like it's more oily and dense on the nose, or on the palate than it is the nose. Oily and dense, but like it goes down with like, like subtle back palate sweetness. And then there's like that, mm. um, it's got Ooh. a little bit of a tingle and a sizzle. Like the mouthfeel mm. is so good on this one. Yeah, it does have that effervescence, but it's mm. kind of like dense and like it, I can see where they're saying the chocolatey kind of vibe to it too. This one's this one would take mm. a little while to discover, but this mm. is instantly wow. super tasty. The sweet level on it is perfect, I think, because mm. it's not it's a, not under sweet, it's, it's not over sweet. Yeah. yeah. But it's like the sweetness is more a part of the oiliness or something. Like they said, the uh, uh, oil canvas or whatever. We're artists. <laughs> the no- I, I will say, I think the nose and the palate are completely different. Like, like I get it. I'm actually getting a bit more of the chocolatey vibe off the nose than I was before now that I tasted it. But It's a big 46, though. Yeah, that's nice. You're getting your money's worth out of that 46%. Mmm. God. And it lingers. This one, like, sparks the... The the sparkle. The (laughs) mmms? Yeah. Sparks the mmms? Wow. Okay, so... If you people out there Mm. can find yourself this stuff... um, Canvas. And, you know, the price is looking a little bit steep or whatever, where whatever it is in your neck of the woods, you know now... That it is worth the money. I would. Would you say it's worth the money? Probably. We are trustworthy people. But in reality, you know, like sometimes you buy something that costs a bit more than you're really wanting to do, and then you buy it, and you're like forcing yourself to like it. To me, this is kind of it hits. It hits the mark. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Check us out. Patreon.com/slash/trainingc. Cheers. Mm, that's good.